Hello, hello. Good morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Today I'm going to be doing a showing video, which, as you know, uh, means I'm just going to show and detail out uh, the different um, you know, parts of the figure, uh, of the box, of everything, mainly because if I only can get one of it or you know, something like this that's really rare, then, by the way, they're still for sale, GameStop exclusive. They have it on their website, and you can even get picked up at your local store, twenty-two ninety-nine. Not, no, I'm not shilling. I'm look, I'm lo looking out for my community here, Star Wars people. You can still get it, um, but there's not very many, from what I've been told. Um, not a ton left, but you can still get them. I, I still am trying so hard to get that carbonized graphite jump trooper. I want to be able to show that to you all, but uh, it's been tough. Okay, so this is Clone Commander Fox. Now, if you're wondering who he is, you might you would have seen him at the end of Return of the Jedi uh, when he might have... I don't know if he was personally one that carried Anakin out of the lava, but he was with uh, he was close to uh, Palpatine when he gave him the orders to get the shuttle ready and, and to go. Lord Vader is in danger. Remember that. Um, Commander Fox led the Coruscant Guard or Imperial Center, depending on which way you go. Uh, an elite clone trooper unit assigned to serve as peacekeepers on the Galactic Republic capital. Like every other clone trooper in the Guard, Fox was bound by honor and duty to protect and serve the Supreme Chancellor and the members of the Galactic Senate. They had extensive training. Some believe that they, even some of them, were uh, uh, promoted to uh, Royal Guard status when the Empire was fully realized. I wrote that out earlier. Hopefully it's better than what's on the box. That would be interesting. But anyway, here you go. Let's take a quick look at them. You'll see that they did... A, and I, I gotta admit, I'm a little tired of the weathering thing because even though in the Clone Wars show he did see action, uh, he wasn't just always in the Senate, but for the most part, he, he was pretty... Most images show him pretty clean and with a little bit darker red as you'll see in the images at the end of the video You'll see that there's a a um, a photo gallery that I put just of the images of both the figure from all angles as well as the um, Images of what he looked like in the re Representations that we've seen thus far. All right, so that's him. He has of course the they use the That means it's an exclusive GameStop exclusive. On this side, you have Clone Co. <laughs> and on the back, Commander Fox led. Hey, is this going to be his exact? Better not be. Led the Coruscant Guard, an elite clone trooper unit assigned to serve as peacekeepers on the Galactic Republic capital. Hey, I think they they, they ripped me off. Okay, anyway. Uh, I mean, technically, I guess that's all there is on them, so that's probably what it is. As you can see, though, much like. He, he does have the ARC Trooper uh, cape or drape down part right here, skirting. Um, you can see he has where you can put both of the guns. Now, one thing I want to say is I don't know why they keep doing this. They did it with Captain Rex. They did it with Wolf. It's They just use these basic molds, solid black, easy, cheap PVC, no real design you know it, it's just there and then you know yeah he comes with a cool gun just like rex and fox did but it's the same pvc um long gun it's very generic um he does have the same thing as they all do the 360 hand you've got the in this case he has an even a more articulated elbow with using the new joints that they're using and so you can get a little further and hold it with the long gun with both hands more easily um he does have a ball joint in the anybody if you're wondering where i got this i got this from hasbro i checked out their breakdown of them um the head can go 360 but i wouldn't recommend it uh the pauldrons do prevent him from going fully out but you can get most other angles and you get 360 straight around um on the legs you have uh, swivels you have ball joints in the hips and on the knees, you have double jointed knees. You have uh, then down in the feet area, you would have the uh, swivel, the hinge, and the ball, all that uh, 
you know, help you move it and stabilize it. If you saw my previous video on the second sister where I really was bummed out because they they put the swivel and, and the hinge, but the hinge and the ball were not attached to the foot. So that obviously the hinge could not be used by the foot in any way because it could not move up. But anyway, I think they did a good job on this one. And it's a great figure. I, I if you can get it, get it. Get, it's you know any exclusive, the Black Series ones that are holding up. If you're interested in value, the ones that are really holding up right now are the exclusives, and things that are related to Clone Wars era, uh, prequels, original trilogy, Clone Wars. I said that already, and even Rebels stuff is holding up. Um, how loud did I say this? Because I'm not a hater. I don't want starting fights. The Disney stuff, the 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 new tri the sequel trilogy stuff. Well, there's many videos showing how they're mostly on clearance shelves. There are a few items that have come out that you know hold some value. You know, like C3PO with the red arms gone up a little bit, uh, things like that. But it's not there. There hasn't been much related directly i mean you can get the kylo i got the kylo ren set a, a month after it came out the one with the the throne room set i got that for seven dollars at walmart my walmart no longer even has a star wars section and as a matter of fact when i went in there for triple force friday they had nothing except for a galaxy of adventures stuff that was it and they did not have even like a separate thing it was one it was two shelves in a narrow part of the toy section in the middle like they just quickly just said forget it we're just gonna put a little bit out um, but anyway I wanted to show this to you I hope you enjoyed this video check out the uh, photo gallery here at the end and thank you so much for watching the next video I will be putting out if you go by date uh, will be uh, the Riku Play Arts Final Fantasy 10 figure review, 10-2 actually, figure review. Um, going to get that knocked out pretty soon. And then, um, so just check the playlist though, as always, if you're new, I really appreciate it. If you can, you can give me a big thumbs up if you like. And if uh, you can, drop a comment down before. Do you like this figure? Do you like, you know, is it one that you got, one that you're after? And, um, you know, like I said, just check the playlist, see if you like what you see and maybe maybe hit that subscribe button i greatly appreciate it and i am greatly appreciative to anyone who watches any of my videos i really appreciate it have a wonderful morning afternoon evening or night and remember that the dark side of the force be with you We'll